Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. I've got a web page open with some math ML examples, and we're going to read an equation that I've got here. X fraction, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A math content. Now, if you are me, that went in one ear and out the other. If you're a math or not, you went, yeah, I get that. Okay, so what we have is the equation. Jaws read it and also indicated math content, which tells me, hey, there's more I can do with this. I'm going to go ahead and press enter here. Enter. And it invokes math, the math viewer, viewer. Equation navigation. X equals fraction. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. You'll notice the verbiage has changed slightly. First of all, we're told this is an equation. X equals fraction. And then it tells us the fraction. It reads all of that, uh, the arithmetic nomenclature correctly. It makes sense. And it's how it would be presented in a classroom. Classroom, how it would be presented by people who are using math and uh, want to present this equation verbally. And what we can begin to do now is explore this equation using the arrow keys, jaw, speech, and braille. On my braille display, I have this equation, which I'm not going to attempt to read back um, again, but it's all in Nemeth Braille. My fraction looks right with my beginning and end fraction sign, the fraction bar in the middle, the slant bar, right? All the stuff that if you are a Nemeth Braille reader, you know what this looks like, you've seen it before, and it actually appears correctly. So if I'm in class and I'm doing math, this looks like the stuff I see in my math book. If I am a professional using math, this looks like the notation that I'm used to reading. And of course, it's spoken correctly. Let me write arrow. I'm on the X right now, the letter X. Equals. Okay, and my cursor's moving along with me. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2 a. So There's my fraction. I'm going to arrow down one time. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC numerator. This part of the, the actual working part of the equation, if I can call it that, is now highlighted. If I try to left arrow. No prior terms at this level of the current expression. I can't get out of this fraction. Okay, this is where I'm at. Currently, I'm focused on the numerator. If I press right arrow. 2A denominator. Okay, we step over the fraction bar. We're into the denominator. Let's go back to the numerator where the action is in this case. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC numerator. Okay, let's look at negative B, sorry, negative 2X. Um, sorry. Negative 2X minus the square root, et cetera. Let me arrow down one time. Negative B. So focus has moved down into this piece of the equation. I know there's a word for that. Dr. Betsy's yelling it at me. Um, <laughs> this element. So if I press right arrow. Plus minus sign. Square root of B squared minus 4C. And right arrow. No more. And that's as far as I can go. And I can't even get to the. No more terms of 4AC. Plus minus sign. Doing left arrow. Negative B. No prior terms. At so we're looking at this little piece. If I, down, if I down arrow one more time. Minus. I'm on the minus sign. B. No more terms of this. That's it. Minus B is the only little element of this equation I can look at. What we're doing is zooming in to greater and greater levels of granularity. So we can begin to, if we must, look at this equation piece by piece. The Braille display still shows me the whole equation. The blinking cursor on the Braille display indicates where I'm at because my fingers can move back and forth across this equation. Verbally, <clears throat> JAWS and the math viewer give you the ability to drill down into this equation and look at each piece of it. If I press down arrow again. No lower levels for that. That's it. Okay, minus two is as, as far as you can go because there's no operation below that. It's just the minus sign and the two. If I wish to zoom out. Negative B. Okay, I'm, I'm, and you hear negative B because that's where focus is. I'm pressing up arrow. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC numerator. We're back up at the level where we see the entire numerator. Arrow up again. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2 a. Okay, and we, we're coming up to the, the fraction level. No higher levels for the current expression. I'm up all the way to the level of the equation. Okay, where we heard it say numerator, I could have stepped right over the fraction bar or the denominator. I did one more up arrow and we got the entire equation. Once again, visually highlighted and accessible to me using the left and right arrow keys. And of course, still available on the Braille display in Nemeth Braille. Now, JAWS continued to evolve. We added more capability. Campbell already mentioned it. We can now do math in Word using the math viewer. And we now have the ability to enter math in Braille as well using the Braille math editor. And I've got the same kinds of examples that I would show you um, 
but we don't need to do that. We just saw it with uh, with our HTML document. False. But you get the math viewer on Word, just like you would in math. Let me briefly show you the uh, the Braille math editor. Okay, if you've got a Braille display, which is where you'd be using it, I'm using a focus Braille display. You press, it looks like the, the Braille plus sign, dots three, four, and six, and dot seven, and space bar, three, four, six, seven chord. Braille math editor, equation edit. I'm gonna do something very, very simple, okay? So two. Dots two, three. Now you're hearing it say dots because it's looking at my raw key put, my raw key input here. So two. Dots three, four, six. Plus two. Dots two, three. Dot dots one six times sign, so two plus two times seven dots two three space space dot dots one space equals. And we're going to say twenty eight. Now I think I need a number sign there. Dot dots two dot dot dots two three six. I'll throw one in there, and it'll correct me if I don't. I'll press equals. Jaws will back translate and put this into the Word document with proper arithmetic notation showing up. Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word document. Okay, let's read the current line. Math content 22x728. So I've got, I'm sorry, I've got JAWS set not to do any punctuation in my error. So and in Braille, I see 2 plus 2 times sine 7 equals 28. With number signs where they belong, it's Nemeth Braille, so all my digits are in the bottom of the cell. So when I use the Braille math editor, I can input my equations right from my Braille display. I can, I can look at them and input them in Nemeth, which I'm used to seeing. When I press Enter, JAWS will back translate that. Drop it that drop that line of uh, arithmetic symbols and numbers into my document with the proper uh, embedded word notation. So what you end up with is good math in your word document, not not abbreviations. You don't have paren for parentheses or anything like that. You've actually got the real notation showing up. So your document is very readable by sighted teachers, sighted colleagues. If I'm doing multi lines, all I have to do is press the end key, press enter to invoke a new line and invoke the math, uh, Braille math editor again, and I get another line. I can keep showing my work or doing whatever I'm doing with a multi-line equation. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.